KTN News, Nairobi. Well, some other stories making headlines now. The controller of budget, Dr. Margaret Nyakango, has revealed that there is a cash flow challenge in both the national and the county governments. According to Nyakango, the available money collected through the taxes is always channeled to paying wages and, of course, repaying the country's huge debt with little or nothing to go on development, which explains why many projects have since stalled. Nyakango indicated that the only way out of the woods is to cut down on wasteful expenditures as well as a fight on corruption. She was launching the first quarter report of the 2022-2023 financial year. And the staff, uh, uh, you uh, what say thank you and uh, you maintain the same same spirit if the revenues do not come in then they prioritize recurrent expenditures and leave out the the development and that's how we end up with a, a very low level of development number two like I, I i outlined in the presentation is that they are supposed to raise own source revenues which are supposed to pick up some of those expenditures. But again, we have issues with on source revenues. They are barely scratching the surface. So again, that is a big problem why development is lagging behind. So we are working on all this uh, concurrently. From where we are, it is, we are like a household where uh, the parents have overborrowed, they went to the circle, they went to Fuliza, eh? so now there is no money. So even if you ask, do we blame Baba or do we blame Mama? Is it really going to help us? We just need to get away out of this. We know that the Treasury would be willing to give the money if they had it, but when the revenues do not reach the levels that we expect, then they can only release what is available. So much as we may throw the blame and say, yes, they did not give the money on time, they probably didn't have an otherwise. Well, away from that, President William Ruto's defense on his in